new report exposes truth about food stamps every patriot needs to read this by adam casalino politics us news for madworldnews.com for decades liberals have protected government entitlements like food stamps but a new report exposes what snap is really being used for every american needs to know this most patriots agree that government handouts are overused while it's nice that our country tries to help the less fortunate. These handouts have created more problems than goods. Uh, millions of Americans have become dependent on the government for food, shelter, and basic needs. Is that, what, uh, uh, re is that really the American way? I'm not really. Food stamps and similar pro uh, programs cost the taxpayers uh, trillions of dollars, your hard-earned money is being used to infantilize people who should be working for themselves. Liberals want it that way. They would prefer if uh, most Americans were sucking on big government's teeth. That way we'd uh, all have to obey them. Liberals continue to protect food stamps as a needed program for the poor, yet a new report has come out revealing what's really going on. Over 35,000 stores have been exploiting the system, robbing the U.S. government. How much have they stolen? Well, more than a billion dollars, and that's just over three years. More than 35,000 U.S. retailers traffic more than $1 billion in food stamp benefits a year over, over a period of uh, three years. A report from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, found the USDA report estimated that 35,891 food retailers in the U.S. illegally traffic the billions worth of uh, Supplemental Nutrition Assistant Program SNAP benefits between the years of 2012 and 2014. Retailer trafficking of SNAP benefits occurs primarily when SNAP recipients sell their benefits for cash to food retailers often at a discount. The USDA's Food and Nutritious, uh, Nutrition uh, Service said in a summary of the report, the agency added that SNAP benefits are only allowed to be used on food items at authorized retailers, that the use or sale of benefits from any other per for any other purpose is a legal source Breitbart. Yeah, but that's been uh, illegal since it began. Well, let's move on. The scam goes like this. SNAP recipients don't need all the food stamps that they get from the government. Uh, so what do they do? They sell the cards to stores for less than they are worth for hard cash. That's not true. They don't get enough food stamps, believe you me. You're barely living on those food stamps a month, okay? The thing, the, the, this is a falsehood here. They use it to buy liquor and drugs and cigarettes. That's why they sell it for cash. And meanwhile, the kids are starving because the parents are addicted. That's what's going on. It's not that they don't need the food stamps. It's not being used for the, that purpose. That's the thing. So you can imagine if the uh, food stamps are not enough, what when they're selling them at a discount, what it's doing to the kids. You know what I'm saying? The uh, stores then cash in the cards to the government, redeeming them for the full value. The SNAP recipients get cash to use however they like, that's right, and the store gets free money, mm -hmm. and the taxpayers get screwed, totally. This scheme is so popular, it's been reported over and over again across the county or country. Uh, last year alone, four major cases uh, prosecuted stores for this fraud. Each store was robbing the government of millions of dollars, now we're learning that tens of thousands of stores are doing this with little repercussions. An estimated uh, 1.77 billion, uh, 0.77 billion in SNAP benefits annually were trafficked and thereby diverted uh, from their intended purpose. According to the report overall, about 1.5% of total SNAP benefits were trafficked and approximately 11.8% of all authorized SNAP stores engaged in trafficking. The report added that trafficking was uh, more likely to take place in urban areas. The store uh, violation rate rises in accordance with the level of urbanization. The report said the most rural areas have the lowest uh, story violating rate of just about 5%, and the most urban areas have the highest store violation rate of 14.4% source Breitbart. 
Urban areas have higher populations of low-income citizens. Thus, you have more people using food stamps. Add to that the fact that it's harder for the government to keep track of all the stores running this scheme. The government is incredibly lax when it comes to enforcing entitlement programs. The previous administration most likely turned a blind eye to this fraud. Perhaps that's why we're only finding out about this now. Uh, most likely turned a blind eye. He could care less, Obama. That's why they love them, because they were getting all this free money. And even though over 35,000 stores are doing this, only 1,800 have been punished through uh, disqualification. Uh, how about a few prosecutions? This scam amounts to theft of taxpayer dollars. People should be held accountable for that. The solution to this problem is obvious and snap. That's, uh, that doesn't make sense. People can't uh, steal food stamps if they're not being given out. Yeah, so what are you going to do about the starving people? Of course, that's not likely to happen. However, stricter standards can ensure that only those who truly need the program can benefit from it. Yeah, that, okay. But, uh, you know, just, uh, you know what? Just uh, have the boxes sent out like Trump was saying. Uh, that they're not going to get the stamp, uh, a snap. But, you know, again, it's, it's very difficult to stop this kind of fraud, you know? Very difficult. Stories that are trying to fraud the government must be properly prosecuted so that others learn not to follow in their footsteps. But rest assured, liberals will do whatever they can to oppose those changes. It's as if they want people breaking the law. Well, that's not a surprise there. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.